Ori finally opens up on extending his term of office. Hear what he said. Mr. Gabashew, the president's special senior assistant on media and publicity, announced his decision in response to widespread speculations that President Mohamed Buhari intended to extend his term in office. Amid widespread social media speculation about Mr. President's untotan bid plan, the president has come out to dispel the rumor and put the minds of nations and people at ease. As a result, Mr. President has put to rest all of the outrageous speculations and rumors that he intends to stay in office for far longer than is required. This means that in 2023, Mr. President will hand over power to his successor. Looking ahead to 2023, the path is clear because a new candidacy is expected. The battle, however, will be very new and devoid of the power of incumbency. The people's choice, on the other hand, will be crucial since there will be a travel and also a level playing ground and field for people to come in. Additionally, Mr. Reno Omokri, a former personnel aide to former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, has claimed that President Momo Buhari posted that his next level plan had yielded results. According to the social media influencer's official and verified Twitter handle, to be considered a millionaire in Nigeria, one must have $2,000. He went on to say that Naira is currently weaker than practically all other African currencies. According to him, the Naira is now worth 500 Naira to $1. Perry was asked if he wants such advantages for his children by the social media influencer. Mr. Omokri will be supported by certain Nigerians. The value of the Naira looks to be eroding by the day. The negative impact is felt by the typical Nigerians trying to make ends meet on a daily basis. Nigeria has had two recessions in the six years that President Momo Buhari has been in charge of the country's affairs. Nigerians hope that Buhari's administration's economic team is doing everything possible to improve the country's economy. Um, you see, Buhari uh, may have top-down agenda, but still we want to keep it to himself because that is a certain kind of person. So let us not just conclude yet. Leave Gabashew. Forget Gabashew. You know President Mobari and his system of operation. Remember when he went out to um, to to elect his his, uh, his chief of staff? Did he inform this so-called Gabashew? Did he? If Wari wants to do something, he puts aside every other thing. Every other person, he doesn't want to know you. Even if you are white, he will not tell you. Bella. Barry is a silent killer. I just, I used, I, that's what I used to tell. That's, that's why I keep, that's what I keep telling our Southeast governors. But they will never listen. So Gabashew is only speaking on his own. Or maybe that is what Barry told him. Told him, told him. But then, let us just keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed because we are still uh, um, uh, we are still believing that that person in Asorok may not be President Mobari. Do you understand? So while we are still thinking about that, let's still put our mind on the 2023 presidency. But then, if I may ask, is it 2023 presidency that truly matters for, for us now? 
according to Kudlo Jonathan, it is not 2023 presidency that really matters now. But the issue of insecurity in Nigeria, if there is still issue of insecurity in Nigeria, presidency in 2023 is going to be very, very difficult to be achieved. And that is the only truth. It's going to be very, very difficult to be achieved too. Very, very difficult. Very difficult to be achieved. Because the level of insecurity is going to cause violence and chaos in the different areas where this election may want to be carried out. So tell me, how successful, how do you think that it's going to be successful? How do you think that the election is going to be successful when there is a very high level of insecurity? There are a lot of things that need to be put in place before talking about 2023 election now. Look at what Reno Mokri just said now. Reno Mokri have to bring in the economy into play. Letting you to know the, uh, the level of Nigerian currency, comparing it to dollar, and which is true, which is true. See, see, look at look at the cost of a dollar, the cost of selling a dollar, and the cost of buying a dollar, which is over close to five hundred. In fact, in fact, our currency has been totally rubbish. Just like Femi Falano said, as the Nigerian police, the name of the Nigerian police has been rubbish. That is how Nigerian currency has been rubbish. Our currency has been rubbish. Has been, in fact, I don't know. Our currency has has devalued. It has devalued. Only those who earn dollars are now the rich people. But if you earn dollars, you are in Nigeria it will still not be useful to you because the same dollar that you earn will still be used to buy costly things. You understand? We still be used to buy costly things. So what's the use? What's the use? It's a waste of money. <laughs> Let me hear from you, my dear viewers from the house side, to know what you have to say about this. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.